This is the HTV-2 hypersonic bomb that can travel at 20 times the speed of sound and strike anywhere in the world in under an hour with the impact of a nuclear bomb without the fallout. Each of these bombs costs $69 million and is designed like all other weapons to control others. After it is used, it leaves us poor, other people dead, and more power and profit to those that made it. There are only two kinds of people in this world, those that want to be left alone and those that won't leave you alone. Humanity has spent so much time on how to manipulate the world and relatively no time asking why. Would have humanity been vastly better off if we did not tax, steal, inflate our economic activities to pay for a trillion dollar military empire, to dominate the world's resources, to create unlimited debt and power for the elite that control our world? Or should we have just left the world alone, free to pursue whatever desires they wanted to do, and just took care of ourselves? Well, if you're indoctrinated into the belief that you have the right to inflict your view of the world onto others, then this is the weapon for you. You now have the ability to spread debt and death faster than anybody else in the world. You just better hope one day that somebody doesn't think that they have the same right to inflict their version of the world on you. We have a world today that has awesome technical knowledge to be able to develop a $69 million hypersonic autonomous kamikaze bombs that can strike anywhere in the world within minutes, and yet we have a society that cannot become conscious to the fact that they are slaves living depressing, malnourished, narcissistic little lives. Some would say that we need this indoctrination to make the world work, and that squatting on a mushroom thinking about man's relationship to the universe will never get us to the moon. Well, who cares if we can technically watch a 3D, 80-inch, high-definition TV, instantly downloading the latest Kardashian show dressed in a Prada spacesuit while driving a Mercedes moon buggy on the moon? On your deathbed, will you be thinking about all the technical things that you were able to do? Or the idealistic relationships and passions you did not pursue? I can tell you what Steve Jobs wished for. He wished he could have gotten to know his kids better. I never let schooling get in the way of my education. Mark Twain. And besides the fact most of the great inventions that improved our quality of life were created by men that had none of this indoctrination. They were free thinkers and tinkerers who loved learning in a non-formalized environment. They pursued their God-given talents and desires for the betterment of others. Jonas Salk cured polio by following his passions and talents and then he gave away the vaccine to the world without patent. He became the change in the world he wanted to see. Hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. Thomas Edison. And what are we really technically teaching kids today? Are we producing the next Edison, Ford, or Tesla? Or are we producing kids that will someday be held at war crimes tribunals saying that they were just technically following orders? The other problem with this technical line of thinking is that it gives humans the arrogant view that they can manipulate nature, and ultimately others, into our own personal utopia, never seeing the fact that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Keynesian economics is of this technical line of thought, and that it has been drilled into our heads that we can manipulate the world by just pulling enough economic levers. All of the technical progress we have made in war, communication, finance, government, and consumer gadgets are worthless if those lives that are building, consuming, and dying for these goods are soulless creatures who do not think for themselves. And what is the result of all this technical thinkers manipulating our world? We have rigged the world to blow with massive financial fraud that will technically end the world as we know it. And for what? Do we technically live better than we did 50 years ago? And by what measure? Happiness, obesity, education, divorce? We need the ability to ask why we do things and not how to technically do things. Maybe then we can ask why we should even build a hypersonic bomb. Does it make the world better? Who does it benefit? How would these resources be better used? And do we even have the right to take from some to destroy others? Without a greater sense of life behind our technical actions, we will continue this painful existence on Earth. You cannot change the outside world to become free or happy. You must change yourself to become free and happy.